Some people think that the way to help employees manage a long list of priorities is to give them the entire list so that they've got a line of sight to everything they have to do and then let them work it out for themselves. Well, I'm gonna tell you that when there's so much going on, giving people the full picture can be completely overwhelming. What if I were to tell you that the secret to managing performance in a time when there's a lot going on is to actually spend a lot more time managing people's attention? I've got a tip for how you can do that. Hi, I'm Leanne Davey from Three Co's, and I am so excited to be bringing you another video to help you and your team achieve amazing things together. Today's video is about the importance of creating focus in times when there's so much going on. When we are in a time of perpetual change, our brains end up in a aroused state. <laughs> In, in a state of anxiety far too much of the time and it's not healthy and it's certainly not conducive to our best performance. So what we wanna do is counter to most of what we learn as managers where we are taught to give people the big context and help them see their work and how it connects to everything else. You know what, when things are really busy, that's too much. It's overwhelming. So when we want to manage people in times of perpetual change, we want to actually zoom in. It's a little bit like when we want the horses to run fast at the racetrack, we put those blinders on. So here's the technique. You're going to put together two things. One, you're going to make sure that at any given moment, everyone on your team knows the single most important thing they need to be paying attention to. Now, if you can actually come up with what's the single most important thing they need to pay attention to for the whole year, great, that's easy. But most people can't say that. There's other things that come on stream. So maybe you need to narrow it down to a quarter or a month or a week or a day or even this morning. The number one thing I want you paying attention to is X. Every person who works for you should be able to answer that question. Anytime I walked up, up to them, I should be able to say, hey, what's the single most important thing you're paying attention to right now? And if I ask that and they're like, um, geez, <laughs> I have so many, that's a sign that you as their manager are not doing enough ruthless prioritization. So that's one half of the equation. But there's some interesting new research published in Nature the science journal recently about how humans perceive adding things as strategic, but we don't perceive simplification strategies or reducing priorities as similarly strategic. So we can't just talk about and reinforce the one most important thing. We have to do uh, something to counterbalance that effect. So I call this one yes and three less. So when you say the single most important thing I want you paying attention to is this, I want you to not stop until you've also been very specific about three things that you want them to pay less attention to. You can do that by saying, hey, remember we talked about coming up with the mailing list for our potential you know, event in the fall? I don't want you to think about that till next week. So you can delay as one way of making it less of a priority. You can say, hey, remember uh, that report that I had asked you for where we were <laughs> looking at our sales by region? I've actually asked Frank to pick that up. So I don't want you thinking about that. I need you focused on this. And that's a distribute technique where you're spreading it out. The, the third thing is you can offer a, a strategy that's about minimizing the work. So, okay, I asked you to weigh in on this presentation that we're giving next week. So rather than looking at the whole thing, can you just take a peek at slide six and seven? Give me your thoughts, spend no more than 15 minutes on it. And that's what I really need from you. Okay, that's your homework. So I want you to make sure for every single person who works on your team that they could at any given time answer what's the one greatest priority, the one yes, 
and that every time you communicate that one yes, whether it be in a morning huddle or as you talk to somebody throughout the day or the week, what's the one yes? But every time you recommit to the one yes, I want you to do three less. Less of this, less of this, and less of this. And that may be using the delay technique, wait until such and such a time. It may be using a distribute technique, I've given it to someone else, or it may be using this diminish technique. Don't do all of this, just do this tiny bit, keep this as your priority. So that's one yes and three less. Have fun, let me know how it goes. I wanna hear how it works in practice. All right, have a great day.